Good, wonderful, beautiful morning, buddy. Look at this poofy girl. She's like, I'm chilling in here while the other dogs are running around like crazy. And good morning to the other dogs. <laughs> what do you think? We didn't get all the poofies cleaned up last night because it got dark. Uh, what's in store for today? First, I get to go drop my Jeep off to get fixed. For those of you that remember, a couple weeks ago I put up a video talking about the damage that was done to my Jeep while we were on our trip. Today's the day it's going to get fixed. They're going to have it for like a week and a half, they said. Ugh. That's okay, though. It'll look nice when it's all fixed. You want to go back inside? Let's go back inside. It's hot out here. It's humid and sticky. Let's go back inside. So, dropped my Jeep off today. I have about a week to a week and a half without it. The people I bought it from, the dealership locally here in town, I know the people that run the dealership, and they were super nice, and they're like, just come in and we'll give you a car to borrow, because there's not a lot of car rental places in Alpena, and they could have given me a loaner car from the collision place, but it was not the greatest car. So anyway, I went to the dealership and they made the joke. They're like, you can have this red Trailhawk, which is my Trailhawk that I traded into them. They're like, or oh, you can drive something different. And I said, you know what? I drive a Jeep all the time. Let's drive something different. So guess what they gave me? Are you ready for this? <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready for this. They gave me a Dodge Charger. They gave me this fast, big car. It's kind of fun to drive though. So for the next week and a half, I'm gonna drive this car. And apparently today I'm going to drive it in the rain. Of course it's raining the day I get the car, but that's okay. It's pretty, I really like the color. <laughs> because it's still a Dodge Chrysler whatever product, the interior is very similar to uh, mine. Whoa, everything's going to get loud apparently. Has XM radio installed. I don't know what this button does, but I'm going to look it up. <laughs> but it's got the big screen on it. It's got all these weird gauges and things. and. All the things over here for the headlights and stuff, but uh, all leather interior. It's a really nice car. It's got a sunroof, moonroof, sunroof thing. I don't know that I would buy one, but heck, I'll drive it for a week. Gee, who brought this in here? Who, who brought the apple piece in here? No, you can't have it. How do you even eat this? It's got to be bitter. Nobody else wants it, just you. She already ate half of it. You ate over half of that baby apple. If you keep eating all the baby apples off the tree, you're never going to be able to taste what a real apple tastes like. You're like, I don't care, just give me that baby apple. Baby apple for the baby? No, can't have it. We're not eating the apples. So for those of you wondering, yes, we have another apple-eating dog. An apple-eating dog. Look at her, I'm going to eat this apple. Oh, well, apparently you're going to eat it. Oh, puppy. Oh, got some fresh raspberries today. Don't these look amazing? I don't know what I'm gonna make with them, but oh, they're so good. This is nature's candy right here. Raspberries. You all ate your sweet potato sticks too fast. I couldn't even film you eating your sweet potato sticks. What's the deal, huh? So Jamie just went out to the farm to pick up my mom and dad's trailer and a four-wheeler. And believe it or not, guys, He's going to Canada without us. He's going up to Canada with his cousin to a cabin. I don't know, when he gets back, maybe we'll figure it out and talk about it because I don't even know all the details. All I know is his cousin invited him on a trip up to Canada and he's going for his birthday. For those of you that may not know, Jamie's birthday is August 1st and he ain't even going to be home. <laughs> but since he's leaving and he won't have internet in a couple of days here, maybe I can show you guys what I got him for his birthday before he even sees it. <laughs> Yeah, so part of the reason I ended up having to get a loaner car while they work on my car was because I had my car scheduled to be worked on before this trip was planned. So I was going to be left without a car while Jamie's gone because he is taking his Jeep to Canada, which is kind of funny because his Jeep was made in Canada or put together or assembled in Canada. It came from Canada, whatever it was. It was originally Canadian. So that's kind of funny. He's taking his Jeep back to its home country. <laughs> Uh, so that's part of the reason why I have to have a loaner vehicle. So I get to drive around a Dodge Charger while Jamie goes to Canada. Which, uh, those of you that have been around for a really long time know that this is a very <coughs> rare thing. Jamie and I do not spend a whole lot of time apart. We tend to do almost everything together. And 
So once in a while this is this is fun and good to do. We just don't do it very often. Also, um, side note, I tried to schedule our camping trip for Labor Day weekend and the campground we wanted to go to is already full. So now I'm looking at Michigan campgrounds and trying to find a new place to go because I wanted to invite like Charles and Thor to go with us and maybe Kasha and Daniel from Creative Pet Keeping, but as of right now, I don't even know where we're gonna go. So that's kind of one of my jobs while he's gone. Figure out where we're going Labor Day weekend for camping. I'm hoping we will actually go camping before that as well, at least to Muska Lounge Lake. But uh, I don't know when, I have no idea when. There's just not that many open weekends left. Maybe the weekend after he gets back, we'll just take off and go camping. My goodness, what are you doing? What? I had to take the cushion off the couch there and wash it because they got mud all over it. They were playing. And I have these nice covers, but they managed to get the cover off the couch and they got sand and mud all over it, so I threw it in the washer. Yeah? What else? Yeah? What else? Any more words? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What else? What else? Yeah, you tell her. You tell that crazy dog. Is it rumble time? Apparently all those words worked because all she wanted was somebody to play with her. Oh, <laughs> that is not very nice. You're, you're gonna both team up on the puppy? Kira's like, I can handle it. Oh. <laughs> One day she's gonna be bigger than both of you. What do you think of that? One day she'll be bigger than you, Shelby. Probably not. I don't think she'll ever be bigger than Shelby. I honestly don't even know if she'll be bigger than Memphis. This is life with a husky, guys. Yeah? Life with a husky. All day, every day. <laughs> Well, apparently I gotta take this one off as well. Look, this is from Puppy Teeth. <laughs> I gotta wash this one now too. At least the cover stayed on this one. Maybe it wasn't mud that was on the couch cushion because this is what it looked like. That's blood, not mud. All right, good job, puppy. All right, come on, 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 you're right, it is kind of warm out here, isn't it? That's okay, you can do it anyway. Go, 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 go! Or don't. <laughs> All right, he picked up the quad. Are you getting excited? I told them you were leaving me for five days and going to Canada without me. But you did leave me with this pretty awesome car over here. <laughs> So he's got to get all this stuff ready. This is my mom and dad's trailer, my mom and dad's four-wheeler, and then his cousin's four-wheeler is going to park on the other side of it. <sighs> it's going to be fun. Are you going to take a camera with you? I should. I probably should. Maybe oh. even a vlogging camera. That's what I'm saying. I have an extra one. Yeah. All right, I'm going to give Jamie a camera. No promises that he'll record or film anything, but he might get us some cool B-roll. Right. <sighs> Your Jeep looks so nice. That one doesn't fit in the driveway. It's not red. Look at even the quad is red. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be a fun trip. And I'm gonna stay here and play with the dogs, so that'll be cool too. Why is this such a fight with you to get you to go outside? You ready to go outside? Alright, we're getting ready to end the day. You need to go outside. You need to go outside. You need to go outside too, little lady. Go outside. Go. Go, 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 go. I don't know why this is so difficult for you lately. You're like, I don't want to go outside. I know why. It's because it's hot out there. All right, I'm coming out with you so you don't have to be on the chain right now. Yeah, go! Excuse me. We're going out. No, 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 no. We're going outside. It's all right. I know it's hot, but you have to go pee. You too, little lady. Go. Go on. She's like, but I really didn't want to. Too bad, you're going. Everybody's gotta go outside before we go to bed. This is how this works. All right, I'm coming out here with you. Go potty, you can't just stand here and not go potty. Kira's like, I'm gonna chase all these bugs. Are you chasing the moths? 
Yeah, I know what you're doing. You're watching for moths. <laughs> All right, go to bed. Go to bed. See that? Did you guys see that? Go, you almost made it. Go to bed. Oh, good job. <laughs> How do you teach your dogs to go to bed? Well, this dog learned it a long time ago and she taught it to this dog. And now both of them dogs are teaching it to this dog. Really, we used to just tell Shelby to go to bed and walk down the hall with her and eventually she realized go to bed meant come down here. <laughs> yeah, did you figure it out? This is, this is the extra bed we put in here in case all three dogs don't want to be on the bed at the same time and somebody jumps off on the floor. But anyway, we're calling it a night. We hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive. Dream big. And we will see you again soon when we get your scritchies for you. Oh, you got scritchies right there. Good night, audience. We're going to bed. I can't believe Jamie's going to leave tomorrow. That's so weird. Anyway, we'll say bye to him tomorrow. <laughs> Good night, audience. If you love our huskies, come along for the ride. All you have to do is hit subscribe. Follow as we share our lives with our dogs. And join our adventures on Snow Dog Vlogs.